Film it. All right, we got the cliff shot. What's up guys welcome back to another video we are here total archery challenge south dakota day three we're gonna shoot the prime course the weather's awesome right now hopefully we don't have any storms move in or any high winds and we can have a good shoot this morning we we haven't really ran into too many storms usually south dakota we either hit really high winds or it rains on us but see we had fog too yeah we had a little fog we had a little smoke yeah we're gonna go get it. Should be a fun morning. I love that shape charge pack, dude. It is it's nice. so money. You guys are looking for a pack for Total Archery Challenge. The shape charge from Kafar. It's been a bulletproof pack. I also use that pack for whitetail hunting. Perfect for putting a camera arm. They've got two pockets on each side. Put a camera arm in one side. Tripod if you're doing ground stalking or whatever if you're wanting to film yeah, it's just solid pack for whitetail hunting and a solid pack for this total archery challenge stuff you need a captain 67 yards Over it, over it. Not a good way to start the course, you know? Not a good way, not a good way. Target number two, we got a turkey at 60.1. Nice. Home is home, I, so I aimed right on that, Ethan, because I was thinking with this, downhill slope but I hit right where I was aiming okay. so gorgeous dude are you doing score at all or no uh, yeah. yeah two fives felt good. Maybe a 10. Ten eight. Ten eight. Dang. Good shooting up. That one's a little interesting. The sun's coming in and it just blinds your peep. All right, we got target number, is this five? Yep. Target number five. We got a, got a deer through, through a lot of trees.
dropped it in there. Here you go. I had to I had to hold on that log that was like coming out like that. Yep. Nice. Starting to feel my rhythm, you know. Oh, dude, someone twelve that thing inside out. Nice. Got a couple shooters up ahead. Look. Pumped it. 88 yards. That one should be a good shot. A little low. That was cool going through the trees. A little low. I think I 12 it. I think I'm right there. That's all good. Good stuff. You have to hold on that rock. You really? got about like five foot behind the rock, you'll sail just over it. Word. That's scary. I was like, literally. That you can see an orange dot behind it and yeah. barely see the orange dot and there's rocks everywhere. You have to hold on a rock pretty much. 10-8 looks like. Yeah, 10-8 just doesn't make you feel right when you're holding on a rock. Kobe, you judge. I'm out. You're out. He's on. He's out. He's out. He's out. Two eights. Yeah, Played that one safe. Yep. I mean, I would have been in the 12 with that shot. Yep. I'd have been in the 12 with that shot, dude. It was right there. That's why I played it safe. The back end of my arrow kicked and hit that rock and just whoosh. This was a fun shot, hard shot. There's a rock right here covering the vitals. I aimed right for just center, center of the 12 and the back end of my arrow hit the rock and Ooh. I see if the rock's like almost too close to it. Eight zero. Word. All right, we've got a mule deer. 104 with the cut. 104 on the dock. That's a hard hold. I'm so close to pulling it through. <laughs> I, I, the wind came up and I was like, he needs to let it down. Yeah, I know. I, I got through the and click got, and I was like, oh, I'll be yeah. all right, I'll be all right. Nope. What was it? It had to have been leg. It looked good all the way through the shot though. Oh, back. Oh, really? Yeah. It's good in the insert left and right, but it's like high. Huh. Let's go. <laughs> I got in there. That was a long shot. <laughs> that is a long shot. Rolling? Oh, yep. sorry. Oh, it didn't. It didn't survive. It did not. There must be a rebar going through the top. 
So I hit it. Or was it like right in here? Yeah, that was, that was this hole. Hit it right in here. Apparently they're running a rebar or something through the top because. Yeah, you heard that thing hit on video. Oh, you I'm heard sure. it. Just... <laughs> yeah, dude, it sounded like a train hit it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she done done. You guys taking notes? It's gonna be a 12 right here, baby. Well, boom! Yeah, good shot. Thank you. Got him. Got him. Good shot. Yeah. Twelve. Oh, I did. Go late. I twelved it. I called it. I twelved it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sure. Thank you. Confidence. Confidence is key. Dude, look and shooting this. ability. You have to have that, too. How are we doing? That was a little bit of a weird shot in the hold. Yeah, <clears throat> it is. Because there's mean, grass, okay. like, covering the vitals and whatnot. where my arrow's at. Got her in there. I like hit it. I I got it. I think I pumped it. Sounded good. It's hard to see. Yeah. Five eight. Me eight, you five. All right, we are coming up to target number 18, Total Archery Challenge Prime Course. All around we've been shooting all right. So yeah, this is a fun course, a lot of long shots. We had a mule deer at 104. We've had several between 80 and 90, and supposedly there is still a shot that's at like 130 something on a moose. And then we should still have a cliff shot as well that's like straight down. Should be fun, this has been an awesome course. Beautiful weather, we're out here in the mountains, you cannot beat it. Love hiking around, it gets you Get you ready for the hunts coming up. So anyway, headed on to 18. Let's do it. Every year, this one usually claims quite a few arrows because there's a broken stump up there. That didn't used to be a stump. That used to be a tree. And over the years, the arrows have just cut that thing in half. That's funny. You used to have to shoot through a V with this shot. Got him. Good stuff, good stuff. Film it. All right, we got the cliff shot. This is an iconic shot for Total Archery Challenge. On the prime course, we've got a wolf here at 47 yards with just an extreme cut. And a lot of wind. Just under him. Just under him. Stuck him.
happy to have insert or foam on that one. Yeah. I'm shove that in my thing. 133. 133 yards on the moose. That's with the cut. It's like 139 straight line. We're gonna have to match up our rest and see what we can clear. It's probably 125. So I can clear 125 on my on my sight. So I'm just gonna hold high on him for 132. Did I say 132? 133. 133. Oh, you hit it. Oh, I was holding too high then. Were you using 120? 125 pin. Holding high. I was holding just a pair over his back. Shoulder. Yeah, shoulder. Yeah. Good shot though. Oh, that pulled easier than that. Oh, dude, it freaking broke another arrow. Oh. <laughs> Don't hit the targets high. <laughs> Just dang, dude. Two of them have broke in the targets. <laughs> dude, what the heck? <laughs> dang it. I'm gonna put one in the neck. Put one in the neck. Sometimes you gotta play it safe, you know what I mean? And this one, dangerous target. If you're going for the score rings, you're gonna lose an arrow. Mm -hmm. Just how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna go for that. Yeah. <laughs> it was dude, it's, yeah, it's literally, literally covering it, the entire It's a tree tent. the size of my leg right in front of the 10 and 12. If you actually shoot for the center, you're going to break your arrow. That's covering the entire vital. Yeah, I tried hugging it as close as I could and I so, Here's the tree. Here's 10, 12. There's no way. They call it the bone yard. No bone yard for me, just 12s. That's 12s. 12s. All right, so this was the target last year that. Uh, two years ago. Two years ago? Okay. So this is the target two years ago that uh, Joel put a nocturnal up in there. I was joking and I said, uh, I'm gonna turn your lights out. He gave me a nice little nocturnal light to aim off of and I told him I was gonna turn his lights off and my arrow went up in there, smacked the back of his arrow and flickered his light and turned it completely out. <laughs> it broke my nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually broke. broke. It wasn't completely. shootable yeah. after that. <laughs> it was. So, you're gonna so we're gonna try to do that again. We're gonna replicate the uh, broken arrow shot. Oh yeah, you were in there. Yeah, you're good in there. Oh, just to the side. Just the left. I had I think I had your same elevation almost, but just the left. Nick, played it safe. Played it a little oh, safe. Man. I didn't want to break an arrow yeah. on the yeah. prime course. Last target. Last target on the prime course. We've got another deer with vitals being covered by a massive tree. Legged him. I was not wanting to go in that tree. <laughs> <laughs> that is just stupid. Look at that angle. You can't hit anywhere in the vital at all or you'll hit that tree. Couldn't have really got vital anywhere. Yeah, not really. Why not? Why not? On the last one, three different targets you've hit. Three different targets I've hit and broken arrows in the target. That's only fitting, you know? 
This is good. Oh, look at that cave. There's a cave up here. I wonder how far back that one goes. You know what I mean? That's cool. It'd be fun to go cave exploring sometime. You guys want to go cave exploring with me? <laughs> That's it. Total archery challenge. Prime course. We just finished. We shot pretty good today. Ethan shot really well today. Really, really well today. Even with the shooting, three of them I broke in a target. Because I hit high and there's like a metal bar running through the target up high. So I smashed three inserts, two up high and one down low, that last one that I hit down in the leg. So broke three arrows by hitting targets. Fun course, super fun course. We just finished it out, three days straight of shooting. Our legs are kind of feeling it. This is a lot of hiking, but it gets you prepared for the hunts ahead. That's why I love Total Archery Challenge. Coming out and getting your wheels about you, getting your lungs about you, and just enjoying these beautiful mountains out here in South Dakota. So I think that's it. That pretty much rounds out the South Dakota series. But if you guys want to help support the brand, head over to whitetailfit.com. Grab yourself a hat, grab yourself a t-shirt, hoodie, veins, wraps. We got it all on the website. So head over there. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.